Glue the curved edge of frame 79 below the upper row of windows, holding it with clamps. Now dry fit the gallery sides and hold in position with masking tape for convenience. Sit part 63 on top of the gallery side. You will need to chamfer the straight edges to get a gap free fit between it, the side planking and the gallery back panel. Now measure the distance from the planking to the inside edge of the gallery side. Now transfer this measurement to the underside of part 63. Carefully draw an arc from this point, following the curve on the edge of the part. Glue three scraps of plank against this line. This will ensure that the gallery side follows the correct curve. Try the gallery side and top in position. Make sure that the rear end of the gallery side is still flush with the gallery rear panel. Shab for the front edge of the gallery side so that it sits neatly against the hull. Soak the side in warm water to help it bend. Now you can use an electric plank bender if you have one. This is not essential, but will make fitting it easier. Glue the gallery side and the top in position. Hold the assembly together with masking tape, clamps or clothes pins until the glue is thoroughly dry. Now sand the edge of the gallery top until it is flush with the gallery side. You can also sand the rear and bottom edges of the gallery side, flush it with their respective parts. Now put part 64 on top of part 63 and draw around the edge in pencil. Then sand the edge of part 63 to form a smooth radius from the pencil line to the bottom edge. Then sand off all the pencil marks. Sand the scored edges of part 64, chamfer the straight edges and smooth the top curved edge. Then glue part 64 on top of part 63. Repeat this procedure to fix part 65, then repeat again to glue part 66. Make sure you have the edge number on the part 66 face down. Carefully turn the model over and sun the underside of the gallery flush. Mark a line on the dowel provided 40mm from the end. Sand two flats from the end up to the line until the dowel is a smooth sliding fit into the angled slot for the bowsprit in the false keel. Place the dowel in the slot, ensuring it rests on the sloping support for the bowsprit.
Now try the barrel deck in position. It will not lay flush until the U-shaped slot is enlarged. Gradually enlarge the slot until the deck sits flush on the tops of the bow formers. Glue the deck in place being careful not to let any glue get on the dowel which you will need to be able to remove. When the glue is thoroughly dry take out the test dowel and sun the edges of the deck flush with the hull planks. Position a 1x5mm strip for the top of the middle whale using the last photo on page 238 as a guide. Fit it with 3-4 to four pins. The wood is thin enough to go around the curve of the hull without any pre-bending, if handled with care. Make sure the pins go into the frame so they hold securely. Mark the end of the strip so it lands on the frame and cut it to length. Temporarily pin a second strip next to the first using the large picture as a guide to the correct positioning on page 239. Now add another 1x5mm strip under the first running from the bow to stop at frame 14. Now carefully remove the lower row of strips. Apply a thin even coat of glue to the strip then place and pin it in position. Use the top strip as a guide to locate it accurately. Now cut the end of the strip so that it fits neatly against the gallery. Now remove the top row of strips and glue in position as before. Make sure you cut the top strip at frame 13, then glue and pin it in position. This will correct any bulge. Take a ruler and carefully mark off 20mm from the bottom of the upper whale. Now take a 1x3mm strip and temporarily pin it in position to form the top of the main whale. Hold three parts 70 under the stern gallery. The bottom of the whale should be flush with the bottom of these parts. Move the strip up or down if necessary. Take a 2x5mm strip and bend it to match the curve of the bow. 
Cut it to run from the bow to frame 15. Now carefully remove the parts and then glue and pin them into position. Remove the top row of 1 by 3 mm strips. Now remove the 2 by 5 mm strips and trim the end of the 1 by 3 mm strip flush with the stern. Replace the two rows of 2 by 5 mm strips gluing and pinning them. Now trim the ends flush with the stern. Carefully sand the edges that you've just trimmed, making sure you're removing any splinters. Cut a length for 1x3mm strip to fit as shown under the gallery support, and then chamfer the top of the edges to match the gallery support and temporarily pin into place. Pin but don't glue a third row of 2x5mm strips. The first strip should run from the bow to frame 15. The stern strip needs to be shaped to fit neatly behind the trim strip fitted in step 10. Twist and chamfer the stern strip in a similar way to the hull plank underneath it. Carefully remove the bottom row of strips including the trim strip and stain if required. Then glue and pin them into position.